Hi, this is Ajay Adakram. This is the second part of emotional hygiene. Control your mind. It's mastery. Number one, deal with your demon. Demon or devil creates fear and disappointments by planting negative thoughts in our mind. It is the biggest enemy. Listen its voice, evaluate it, and see if it is creating fear, anger, disappointment, or any kind of negativity. Deal with it wisely. Simple rule is that if you ignore demons whispering, it becomes weaker and weaker controller of you. It also diverts you from doing good by enforcing you to do bad. For example, get angry, disappointed, etc. It comes mostly from left side to whisper how to deal with it, go against it, or take its disappointment as a challenge to become successful and to move forward. As much you listen and obey him, it will get control on your mind, like pop-ups and bugs do. Demons are devil wants to make you their slave. Do you want to be their slave? Obviously not. So deal with this bravely, wisely and spiritually. Get strength from the main source of energy, the Almighty God. Go higher with your thoughts and get connected with the main source of energy. Main source of the energy, greatest power or God, whatever you believe. Whatever you believe and try to be grounded. Connect with the earth, water like electric earth connection. It can make much easier to solve the problem. To get connected and to be empowered. Sit near the water if you can. It can help you to understand demon pop-up or bugs action on your mind and your reaction can be much stronger when you are connected with the earth or water our main source of energy now you deal with them one by one to solve every issue or problem or to refine your thoughts clear your mind next step is conquer your demon Let go whatever is not serving you at the best level. For example, limiting beliefs, thoughts, values, attitude, behavior, etc. Limiting beliefs are to think that having more money is evil, having more people around causes unhappiness. And figure out all these mentioned above at a refine and shift them with good ones. Use your subconscious mind to shift them by saying him that shift the shift and replace them with the greatest positive ones. Please try to understand this. It's very important. Figure out all these mentioned above, like refine and shift them with good ones. Use your subconscious mind. Use your subconscious mind to shift them by saying him that shift and replace them with the greatest positive ones. Take deep breath and attract to stay inside you the greatest things you want, your clear dream, aim, love, money, or your longings, etc. When you exhale breath, Slowly from your mouth, think all unwanted, unserving things are going out from you. When you breathing inside, think that all the good things coming inside you. And when you are exhaling slowly from your mouth, think that all the bad things, unwanted things, negativity, all bad energy that's going out. Say them to go. You no need them. You need a practice for this under a, under supervision, or you can try by yourself. As I said, 
When you exhale, breath slowly from your mouth. Think all unwanted, unserving things are going out from you. Say them to go. You no need them. Let them go. Repeat it in double way. Staying inside the attracted good, good things and letting go unwanted things. You can do it first, letting go things. If you can't manage the both ways, first attracting good things and then letting go bad. If you can't manage that, first do it, let go the bad things out. When you exhale, think that all the unwanted things are bad stuff or any mind worries, anything, any mind bug. I mean, all the negativity which you know needed, all this stuff which is making you weaker, our failure softwares, they are going out. First, you need to remove them. And then you can do it like inhaling later on, next step, inhaling good things. Repeat it in double way, staying inside the attract good things and and uh, attract one of manifest during inhaling breathe do as you feel happy i mean whatever is comfortable for you and you feel happy do that one try to do breathing in greener areas like parks forest or garden if water is near that can be more fruitful. Once you have done, let go unwanted or unserving stuff and has attracted in breathing the greatest thing to stay inside you. Create a mantra, a few word, powerful words to conquer demon. Close your eyes, go higher. Close your eyes, go higher in your mind. Above the skies, I said skies, not sky. Go above the skies. It's a very difficult task. But you can do it. Many people have done this. You can do it. Well. Connect your thoughts with the main source of energy and ask how to conquer demon. If you receive powerful words and mantra, it's great. Otherwise, set few words which energize you. Just two or three words. I mean, keep it as shorter you can. That's the sentence which is easiest for you to say. Say them whenever you heard or felt that your thought are demons whispering in trying to put you down or trying to create disappointment in you or fear, anxiety. When you say the words or mantra, think an unseen kick, you know like karate kick, unseen kick is hitting hard to your demon. Usually demon or devils don't give up, so you have to have to be persistent to win because that's their job and your job is to fight back, to win over them. You are more powerful. I got my words which are working perfectly for me but cannot share with everyone because it is a game. God does not want demon or devil to be paralyzed. Whoever works hard to win the game they get or create on winning words or mantra. So create or find your own. We are spirits having human experience. Demon or devils are playing as opposite team. We got to win by using our spiritual intelligence. That was the promise with God made by all the created souls. So win, win, win. This game, be strong and intelligent. Words you develop for your mantra should bring smile on your face, not anger. When you say them, avoid anger creating or anger arousing words. Recover and strengthen your mind power by using subconscious. This is the next step that uh, Recover and strengthen your mind power by using subconscious. Do self-hypnosis. 
tell your subconscious to fix my mind damages and maximize its power. Before sleeping, try this self-hypnosis with confidence. Fix your mind gaps and weaknesses in it. Strengthen them by recovering the disconnected connections in your mind. Avoid negative people, especially those who hold you down or try to create inferiority intellectually, morally, and socially. Put you, who hold you down or try to create inferiority intellectually, morally, or socially. Bully you and also don't be one of them. Walk away nicely. Walk away nicely from all these kind of people. Those are unwanted and time wasted. They don't know your value because they have forgotten about their own reality. Everyone is unique and the greatest creation in the planet. You know your value and importance as you are the general of your life's battle. Everyone is battling in life. So you are the general of your own life battle. You are the president of your life journey. And you are the leader, leader of your life. It is only you who can help you, pull you up, co-create, refine, strengthen and achieve the greatest life with full of love, peace, joy, gratitude and accomplishment. Play your role wisely to experience human body fully in a better way. You go, you got very strong spirit in you. You are not a weak who blame others for own failures. These are just ups and downs. <coughs> Excuse me. These are just ups and downs. Come and go in life to examine our strengths and to maximize them. <coughs> the sun never stays, nights never stays forever. This is the law of nature, which is similar to our own life. This is the law of nature which is similar to our own life. Learn to self-control and self-discipline. If any bad situation come to you, either you have attracted it, created it or associated with it. Learn from it and let go whatever brings bad to you. Just attract great things as being as great spirit. Next I see, create and develop love, harmony. peace, happiness, and friendship with every spirit battling in human experience. Everyone is responsible for their own body. Look after it. Realize this that everyone is battling with own life. So be kind and understand their situation. Think you are a God's friend. Would you allow anyone to destroy, damage, or harm your friend's property? pets or creation good friends will definitely not allow so how can you do see or allow these for your friends created fellows fellow spirits and their given bodies the mankind the fellows next is stop stop imposing your belief culture religion and sex sects on others Show with your character which can prove that you are in the right class. If your character, happiness, your outer and inner peace and love to all are at the greatest degree, then you are in the right class, otherwise not. So open your mind and keep learning and exploring. Apply your beliefs completely on yourself first. Action speaks louder than words. Remember this. Your behavior, attitude, social and spiritual skills should be shining and rising. 
and then you will attract others. Stop killing human fellows. One person you kill, whole family you make your enemy. Negativity attracts negativity. It's a law of attraction. Share your resources with others. Make as many institute for researches, development and constructive inventions with your money. You cannot keep permanently slave to the other fellow spirits or human being. Direct slavery was not successful. How indirect slavery can be? Be wise enough to spread infinite love and peace. Stop selling hate and death by plotting two to fight each other and then to sell them your weapons, arms, etc. You are playing in devil's hand. Realize this. Just identify this by killing or fighting. Toes. Who is getting benefits? The third party, the devil. Cut to manage your expenses so that you no need to send hitmen to other others to capture their resources. Show the character of greatness. Don't play for the greater game. Play for the greatest love. Remember, negativity attracts negativity and greedy action will attract and reflect the same. If you kill others, you will attract the same outcome for other uh, for you. Sorry. If you kill others, you will attract the same outcome for you. Learn from past mistake and turn those mistakes into your strength. History repeats itself if you don't learn from it. So please stop playing in devil's hands. Be unquenchable, become infinite power and spread infinite love by conquering your demon, devil, instead of living as his slave. You are greater than him. Ask your spirits to make, ask your spirit to manifest for you what you want in life. How would you like to experience humanness? How would you like to live? What you want to accomplish for yourself and for others? What is your sole purpose? How can you make yours and others' life easy and comfortable? What to do and create to make others and own life easy and happy. Whatever you do, do it with love. Take action for what you want to do. Conquer your demon, devil. Do not play in his hands. Help yourself and your fellow human beings, our fellow spirits to win the battle of life. Anger causes disappointment. Anger is like a lion that turns your future into a goat and eats it. 15 second to 45 minutes exercise to control your mind. Make a gratitude list, then visualize it mind to get more control of your mind. Number two, pop-up refinement. Identify pop-ups, which creates fear, anxiety, stress, depression, disappointment, anger, and take away your action power to move forward and takes away your action power to move forward. These pop-ups, they create anxiety, stress, depression, disappointment, and they takes away your action power to move forward. Refine them, don't let them blur your vision. Clean them and find the causes why they are coming and are you empowering them by getting influenced by them? Are you diminishing them by ignoring unnecessary pop-ups? Other way to deal with pop-up is to take action against them. If they, if they are creating fear, go against them. Evaluate everything. You are the master of your destiny for what you want to do. Conquer your demon, devil. Do not play in his hands. Help yourself and your fellow human beings, our fellow spirits to win the battle of life. Anger causes disappointment. Anger is like a lion that turns your future into a goat and eats it. 15 second to 45 minutes exercise to control your mind. Make a gratitude list. Then visualize it mind to get more control of your mind. 
Number two, pop-up refinement. Identify pop-ups, which creates fear, anxiety, stress, depression, disappointment, anger, and take away your action power to move forward. And takes away your action power to move forward. These pop-ups, they create anxiety, stress, depression, disappointment, and they take away your action power to move forward. Refine them. Don't let them blur your vision. Clean them and find the causes why they are coming. And are you empowering them by getting influenced by them? Are you diminishing them by ignoring unnecessary pop-ups? Other way to deal with pop-up is to take action against them if they, if they are creating fear, go against them. Evaluate everything. You are the master of your destiny. These pop-ups are to destroy you, are to challenge you. Accept the challenges. Block them. Don't allow them to get control of your mind or to divert your attention from your aim goal. Think you are using a computer, pop up, come. If you click on that, it will get control and also will divert your attention. It will divert you somewhere else. Your vision and mission will become blur. So be aware, don't get angry, just realize and deal with them one by one at a time. You are the greatest, greatest creation on the planet. Just remember this. Other form is demon. When there is a great creation, there are many enemies against it. So be strong, positive and stable in mind. Number three, clean your mind box and change your life plan. Stored negative thoughts become bugs which tease the mind to ruin the person's life. Andy Shaw's bug free mind videos can help to understand it more. Mention below points are taken from his videos. Take control first. Realize your life is not in control. Set your mind control. Go into your mind. Start fighting, finding the problem. Go into your mind and start fighting the problem. Overcome, overcome conscious mind by using and empowering subconscious mind. Next is take control of your mind. Take action. Hold 15 seconds a positive thought. Hold 15 seconds a positive thought in your mind. Remember, happy moments make a list of gratitude. Hold them in mind from 15 seconds to increasing 45 minutes are long. You can feel happy by keeping these gratitude thoughts in mind. Burn boards take action. Hold listed thoughts again and again. Practice. Keep trying until you get control of your mind. Stop eager to run the show. Get rid of the virus.